Hi guys, how are you today? Dar. Oh, hey Patty. Here she is again. Hey guys. Hi. What getting, are you doing? I was actually getting my Bible. I was going to look up Matthew chapter 16, which is actually today's story that the kids are going to learn. Yeah, who does Jesus say that I am? Is that the story? Jesus asked, yeah, his disciples, who do you say that I am? So we've been focusing in on a lot of neat things about God and what he made and getting closer in to see more about his love and um, the things that he tells us to, to listen to and to see. And today we get to think about who he is more, really focusing in on Jesus. Who do we say that he is? Yeah, we know that he says he's our savior. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It's really cool to think that he wants to be our friend forever. So listen, Mm -hmm. listen to today's lesson. Learn some things about how to find your questions, um, answers to them. Get your questions answered. It's a great lesson today. And you can talk with others about what you believe. Once you know more about who Jesus is, then you have the confidence to tell your friends more about your Savior, your forever friend. Yeah, we're going to have a great time today. Did you enjoy the Zoom party last night? Oh, it was great. It was fun. It was fun. Yay! Yay! Thanks for coming, guys. All right, we'll see you at the end. Bye. Have a great day. Bye. I'm going to go put my Bible up. Okay, thanks. We'll break. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. So good to see you. Notice anything different about me? Glasses! I'm wearing glasses! My friend Zenny got a new pair to help her see better. I thought that they were so cool, so I wanted some too. But here's a secret. Lean in close. 
There's no glass in my glasses. They're not real. Glasses are awesome. Look at this pair. This pair makes me want to read. Let us keep looking to Jesus, Hebrews 12, 2. Or this pair. This pair makes me want to dance. Oh, and look at this fun pair. I can make silly faces with them and make people laugh. Yup, glasses are the best. Hoo, hoo. Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Harper. Hoo, hoo. Seeing new things, are you? Hi, Ollie. I wish I wore glasses for real. It's fun to see new things, it's true. And I know more that you can see and do. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Hoo. Follow me through, follow me through hill. I've got a Bible story for me and you. Well, hello friends, I'm Casey. Welcome to Look and See, the place where we look and we look and we see what's in the Bible. Are you ready to look inside the mystery box and see what we can learn from the Bible today? If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, Take a look! Ready? One, two, three! Take a look! Whoa! A chef hat, an apron, marshmallows, rolls! Looks like we're going to be cooking today! We've been learning about our good friend Jesus and how we can look in the Bible to see some of the amazing things Jesus did. We're going to make one of my favorite treats. When we make this treat, it helps us take a closer look at our story. When I learned to bake this treat, I learned more about Jesus. Let's look in the cookbook. <laughs> no, silly. Let's look in the Bible to learn about the most amazing thing our friend Jesus ever did for you and for me. One day, Jesus and his friends were eating dinner. Can you pretend to eat like this? Good job! While they were eating, Jesus told his friends he was going to go away, but not to worry because he was going to come back so he could be our friend forever. Give yourself a hug like a friend does. <laughs> awesome. That night, some angry people came. Oh no, show me your angry face. Whoa, those are some angry faces. The angry people came and took Jesus away. Then they hurt Jesus and he died. After he died, his friends wrapped him in a cloth and put him in a tomb. Jesus' friends were very, very, very sad. Three days went by. It felt like a long time. Kind of like when you're waiting for your treats to bake. Can you count the days with me? Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> On the third day, some of Jesus' friends went to the tomb, but guess what they found? Nothing! There was nothing in the tomb, just like there's nothing inside my treat. It was empty. What? The tomb was empty? Jesus was not in there anymore. He was alive! He went to visit some of his friends to tell them he was back and wanted to be their friend forever! Everyone, celebrate! <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! Jesus is alive! Jesus is alive! <laughs> Jesus came back just like he said he would. He came back so he could be our friend Give yourself a hug, just like a friend does. Great job! 
Jesus wants to be my friend forever, and your friend forever, and your friend forever, and your friend forever, and your friend forever. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you tomorrow for another look and see. Bye! <laughs> so there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is alive for me and for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. That's amazing. Jesus did something that no one else could do so he could be our friend forever. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Glasses are super fun, but whether I'm wearing them or not, I can still see that Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That makes me so happy. I think I'm gonna have another dance party. See you guys next time. Bye!
And you're going to put both strings through every one of them. Thank you, Abram. And Sirius is going to do the last letter, the F. Thank you, Sirius. And then I'm going to do the yellow bead. And then when you're done with that, you're going to take the keychain and you're going to tie a knot around it to hold it all together. And if you have anything extra, any extra string, you can trim it off and then you'll have your keychain. And it says forgiven with the cross at the bottom. Our next project that we're going to do is this little finger puppet. The first thing you're going to do is stick your finger out and we're going to twist it. Start at the bottom and just wrap it all the way around to the top. Make sure you do it a little bit tight, but not too tight. Okay? Then you'll make one loop for the eye on one side, a loop for the eye on the other side, and it'll look like this first. And then we're going to take our beads that have the little eyeballs on them and put a little glue if you have it and stick them right on the top. And then you have a finger puppet. And this, can Sirius try it on? See, we can move it around and it can stand up on the table. And this finger puppet reminds us to keep our eyes on Jesus. Because he is our forever friend. Would you like to read first? Okay. Let's, let us keep looking to Jesus. He is the one who started the journey of faith, and he is the one who completes the journey of faith. And that's from Hebrews 12, too. Thanks for joining us again today. We hope to see you back tomorrow. Bye! Hi, guys. How was your day three? Did you have a great time? What you got there, Jar? Hey, Patty. During crafts today, we made... These little finger puppets, and I made one for you. Oh, wow, those are cute. Oh, he's cute. He can sit on my finger, oh, or I fun. can sit him on my crap. dresser. And you know what? He can remind me to stay focused on Jesus. He's pretty cute. cute. I like that. And you know, we learned a lot about Jesus today and what the disciples and who they said he was. Peter said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And so I wanted to ask you, Patty, who do you say that Jesus is? I'm always happy to tell people, he's my savior. Mm. He forgave me my sins. You know, you guys made those oh, yeah. given bracelets, right? Remember the bracelets and or, or the keychains key or whatever chains. it was you want to use it for? Yeah. That that says forgiven. I'm going to make one and put one on my Bible bookmark and let it hang out and That's say forgiven. That's a great idea. Reminder. Some of you can put it on your coat zippers. It's a great way. And then you can tell people about Jesus. That's right. Yeah. Well, who do you say that Jesus is? Have you been able to sh think about that and maybe share it with a, a family member or a friend and talk about that and see what they think about that? That's a good way to share Jesus with others. Yeah, and you know, if you're not really sure how Jesus can be mm -hmm. your Savior, that's a great question to keep asking. Talk to others about what you want, what you believe, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. ask them, how do I make Jesus my forever friend? That's right. How do I ask Jesus to live in my heart? The Word tells us. And there are responsible adults and friends who can share Jesus with you, too. So it's a wonderful, wonderful thing to know that Jesus wants to be our forever friends. That's right. Yeah, it's been a great day three. It has. And Should... we're excited about uh, tomorrow. Oh, yeah. And um, we're going to be sharing with you about another Zoom party we're going to have tomorrow night. So listen closely to how you can be part of our Zoom party on Thursday.
That's going to be so fun. Hey, should we do our verse again? Yeah, let's do our verse okay. before we go. We keep looking to Jesus because he wants to be our forever friend. That's right. Okay, okay. here we go. Let us keep looking to Jesus. He is the one who started this journey of faith, and he is the one who completes the journey of faith. Hebrews 12, 2. Good oh, job. That's good job, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Thanks for coming. Bye. I love these. Bye. I'll see you later. Okay. I love these. I love this puppet. He's so cute.